am so dehydrated and out of electrolytes. I wish there was something to help. Oh! Whoa, Element? Mango chili? How am I gonna mix this? Oh! Oh, yeah. Ah. Wow! I've never been more hydrated. Today's video is sponsored by Element. Sometimes water just doesn't cut it and you need something more than good old H2O to make yourself feel better. Element is an electrolyte drink mix which comes in stick packs. Each stick pack is scientifically formulated to provide your body with 1,000 milligrams of sodium, 200 milligrams of potassium, and 60 milligrams of magnesium to give your body what it needs to feel refreshed. The best part about it is that unlike other brands on the market, they leave out all of the sugar, the artificial colors, and other questionable junk that you don't want or need to put in your body. The second best part is they're allowing me to hook you guys up with a free sample pack with every purchase that includes all eight flavors when you use my link. You can try mango chili, chocolate salts, or my favorite is citrus salt. Personally, I like to drink this right after a workout. It helps me recover way faster. And it honestly tastes super good. Mare's actually been preferring it over other brands and buying it. Our whole family likes it. Mare likes it. The kids like it. It's good. Get a free Element sample pack today with any order when you use my link, drinkelement.com slash off the ranch. The sample pack has one of every flavor so you can try them all out. If you give it a try and you don't like it, it's risk free. Give it away to a salty friend and Element will give you your money back. No questions asked. That's drinklmnt.com slash off the ranch or click the link in the description below and get a free sample pack with all the flavors for free today. It is a tiny house kind of day. Lights. I don't know where light switches are. Ha! ha. Oh. It's a tiny house kind of day. And you guys really seem to like the tiny house episode and the tiny house idea of making this shed into a tiny house. So much so that one of you guys took my rudimentary plans, which I drew on this piece of plywood right here, and put them into your fancy schmancy software. I made a model. Literally two hours after I put my video up showing that, I got an email from Mitch from JJImprovingYourPlace.com. I don't know him. I've never met him. He's never been here. He saw a drawing on my video that I made on a piece of plywood. Here was my drawing. Now let's go to his. I mean, how epic is this? Dude just took my drawing and put it in a program and made it crazy. Uh, he did a couple changes. He put an L couch in there, which I like, a sectional. And then also the bar in the kitchen, he made that instead of a separate table like I had. He made it come out of the kitchen counter like a bar. This is from the opposite side, so you can see that bar has four stools, which is cool because theoretically a couple would be staying here, but maybe they have a couple friends who want to come over and eat a bite. Or maybe they have two little kids, and so I think it'd be good to have four spots to sit and the couch is you know bigger so there's more places for people to sit as well so he did not put a stove in he did put a dishwasher i think there's a way we could put a small stove and a small dishwasher or just no dishwasher we're in a tiny home after all but you can see there's plenty of room when you walk in and he also left room on that back wall back there which is this wall right here and we could put a door there that goes to a little back patio area with a hot tub or something like that. From the other angle in the living room, and you can see he has a barn door, which everyone was commenting that we need a barn door for that opening, which is an awesome idea because, yeah, it was just, it looks really good. You can leave it open all the time, or if you need to close it, you can. Into the bedroom with the tub out in the middle room, and he added a shower, which I wasn't sure if I wanted to do, but it does look pretty good, and some people do prefer showers. One change I want to make is the double vanity sink. I put that in, but after thinking Thinking about it, there's no reason that you need two sinks in a tiny home. This angle shows the barn door. It's also just crazy to have so many angles in this house. The guy's crazy. Good job. And as you can see, plenty of room for a king size bed, especially if you get rid of one of those sinks. Another guy, Kevin Setzer, sent me this, kind of a different take on it. What I like about this one, he did include the stove, the range, but then also the island is separate from the range and so there's seating on one side and you can use the island for prepping or for eating which is pretty cool this one's from daniel who's a custom home designer in san antonio what he did differently was he actually roomed off the bathroom uh, which a lot of people were saying they didn't want a tub out in the middle of the room and so he moved the bed over on a different wall he roomed off the bathroom he put closets in uh, he also has the kitchen on the back wall with living room in the front he has a separate table um, he has a range and a sink 
Uh, no dishwasher in this, I don't think, but it could be put in there, I think, pretty easily. As we're talking, Jenna just got another one. Someone still, people just keep emailing us. They're, I really appreciate you guys. This is not what I expected. Um, yeah. We were trying to figure this out, and uh, then all these emails are just coming in. Is it, is, it, good is it good? Yeah. <laughs> Marty. Oh, Marty. Marty McFly. What he did different is he actually walled off the bedroom separately. So you walk into a little hallway and you can go into the bedroom or go into the bathroom. There's also a closet. He thought of that. There's actually two closets in here. Um, tub or shower. And uh, he kind of used the same island that's connected to the kitchen counter. Very cool. Yeah. And we got a stove. So we're all sitting here talking about putting all these plans together, my plan plus the other guy's plans and figure it all out. And then Jenna had the idea of actually using the weird little thing on the outside. Yeah. So right now this was used as just an outdoor storage area. It does not connect, but it would be easy enough to connect it. What if we made this go all the way to the end there? It would add some extra angles to the front, goes all the way to the end, pour a little extra slab there, and then this is all more space for the house. It would add about 50 square feet to the house and then we would just bump out this wall. I need to draw it for you though. Let me, let me, I don't have a Sharpie. That was iteration one. Prepare to be amazed. Okay, here's iteration two. Let me walk you through it. So door, same spot, walk in. We decided we like the guys that are putting, also I only had a silver Sharpie, so sorry, it's kind of hard to see. We decided we like the guys that are putting living room here. So this is your sectional couch. Man, it's like reflective and kind of hard, but you can figure it out. And a TV over here. This couch also has a, a little double bed that folds out in case you have tiny kids. Um, we have our island here with four seats around it. We have our sink on the island and there's a dishwasher underneath the countertop there. Stove, little countertop space, fridge, and a back door that goes to our awesome patio with plants and a hot tub. In here, bed, we got one of those little footy things you sit on uh, at the end of the bed, looks cool. And we bumped out the outside, there's enough room for a tub, there's enough room for a shower, so this is all shower and this is all behind a big piece of glass here. So you keep all the steam, most of the steam, out of the tiny house. It all kind of stays in here and you have a big, this is all just a big wet area. Sink out here, little shelves right here, toilet room right there, and a closet. We didn't have any closet space. A lot of people were like, yeah, you need closet space. We got closet space in there. Uh, bottom half is a dresser, top half is a hanging rack. What do you think about that? Would you see if that bathroom is big enough to poop in, please? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta scoot it back a little bit. There's gotta be a reservoir behind you. Oh, that's right. The, the, bowl, whatever you call it. Uh, you might bring it out a little, because if you close that door... Yeah, it might be a little tight. Uh-huh. Okay, would you like more room on the sides, or mostly just in front of you? I mean, this is better than, like, a bathroom on an airplane, so that's... I mean, it is a tiny home. It's not supposed to be, like, my, spacious. My elbows aren't hitting the wall. <laughs> yep. I think about someone with, like, Clint's shoulder my width knees. sitting right there, and his, like, shoulders would be touching the wall. I mean, Clint, might need, like, Clint probably break. isn't going to book a tiny home stay for Jenna, you, okay? Clint is not... Like literally twice my width. <laughs> twice, but All right, so we we got the bathroom laid out or the the toilet room. This is a little closet. It'll open this way. Bathroom will open that way, and then from there to there, glass showers there, and then around the corner in the same room, it's gonna be a bathtub. This is obviously my sink. Obviously. Wash my hands, this little towel hanging on the wall, perfect. <laughs> we have all of our shelves right here. This this board is obviously my shelves. Um, so that's where all like the extra towels will be, uh, you know, some bars of soap or whatever. Extra like linens, we could have some in here, or David had the idea of the little thing that opens at the foot of the bed, a little, what do you call those things that you sit on? A uh, footstool. That can't be it. I don't know. But it could open up and it could have- a bench. A little bench, yeah. It could have extra pillows, blankets, um, especially if that is a fold out couch in there, you're gonna want some extra sheets and blankets and stuff. So that could all be in here. I think we have ample storage. The whole closet, or half the closet at least, could just be for the tenants. What, you know, they can put whatever they want in there with their dresser and everything. Hi. Okay. <laughs> uh, I think we should clean this place out now. Um, mm -hmm. We haven't even started trying to floor plan out this room with boards yet because it's a total mess. A little bit. But I brought a dumpster.
a homemade water valve turner offer. So you got these things in the ground that turn your, your main off to your house. I've never seen a homemade one though, it's pretty cool. We are keeping this. Now you can kind of see everything in here. We got everything cleared out. So what do you think? Oh, I forgot that. What do you think about this place? Especially if we bump out that wall and you got a shower and tub room back there. Man, I think it'd be perfect. Thank you guys who just saw that video and went to work making us the designs. That was really cool for us to kind of visualize and conceptualize and just get other ideas mixed with my initial thoughts. So you can see how our plans kind of morphed to take some of those ideas in. And I love some of the aspects of them. And I like the idea of a little door right there that goes out to a little porch with a hot tub, maybe a grill. So what else? Uh, what are we missing? We are going to be probably just kind of planning this for a little bit. We're not going to like start, um, you know, pouring concrete tomorrow or anything. We're going to work on some planning stuff. But in the meantime, uh, yeah, let us know if you see something else. And um, we may implement your plan like we implemented the guy's plans today. All right. Done with tiny home for now. One more just came in just now. So honorable mention uh, because this guy spent some time on it. There's the front. So we don't have any outside views, but he put some windows, single door. That's pretty cool. Um, he did incorporate that little room too. There's a window in it. There's a back. He made a little bump out. There's the kitchen. So this guy showed the height of the room you can see and then we have a stove, a dishwasher, a sink, full fridge, lots of cabinets which is cool. A uh, little living room, couch and table and chairs and that little nook over there. Golf is on TV. <laughs> a little sliding like pocket door looks like. And here is the bedroom. It is connected to the bathroom. He put closets in which is cool. His toilet is out in the open. Is there a door there? I guess maybe that's a sliding door. It's an outhouse. Yeah it's just an outhouse. <laughs> <laughs> that's from Frank Visco. So Frank Thank you for sending that. Everybody else who sent one, we didn't get it in there. It's probably because we didn't see it in time. But uh, you guys are awesome. We had like five or six dudes reach out with like professional drawings to help us out. And I love that. There's another one. Another one? <laughs> <laughs> it just came in? Yeah. This one's from Kiera Dune or Dunn. Okay. Um, so she made like walls in here. She roomed it off. So there's a bedroom. I can't um, figure out what's happening. Oh, so she just took out is, the interior wall completely. Yeah, so this is the entrance living room. There's a bathroom over here instead of being in the bedroom, and the kitchen is in, on the back part. Crazy. Back right. Cool. There's others. In. Man. These people are good at this. They are way better than I. I mean, my drawing on a piece of wood was pretty good, though. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thanks. Y'all are awesome. Just quit checking your email. That's <laughs> not how you carry this ladder. We, <clears throat> we put a sign up in between these two poles. This is where the old sign used to be. <clears throat> Within a few days, it was ripped down. Possibly by a person, possibly by the wind. So we went and fixed it. A few days later, ripped down again. And I was like, act of God, maybe it got windy again. So we came out, we put tons of little rivets all in it, made a new sign, extra strong. Seven days later, ripped down. So we made an even better sign. It's got wood on it around the edges, got a frame got wood in the middle we're here to find out if someone's tearing down our sign every time we put it up there probably shouldn't say that huh yeah I was gonna say <laughs> <laughs> okay. is that right mm -hmm. oh it's that one is shoot <laughs> we gotta hang it that way so it's extra big now so that it can not be hanging in between the poles. We're just gonna hook it to the poles. We don't have any fasteners though. Uh, we don't really have a good plan. I got chains. We can actually drill a hole and chain it to the pole. So we're just gonna get up there right now and see what it looks like. Found some L brackets. We got some screws. We're just gonna screw it straight to this, uh, the wood to the pole. 
and see what happens. It doesn't fit this. We're not gonna keep this thing forever. But we have a lot of people coming for work, for uh, range days, for classes and stuff like that, and they, they need a sign so they know where to go. So we just wanted to get something up in the meantime so that people can find this place. It'll work for uh, until somebody tears it down. <laughs> this is not going anywhere. I would even say this ain't going nowhere. Would you rather not go anywhere or would you rather go Nowhere. nowhere. I don't know. I'd rather not go nowhere. Or not. I'd rather be somewhere than nowhere. I'd rather be nowhere. I would say we are not anywhere. Except I would say that depends on your perspective. Well, right now it's nowhere. But someday, we're going to be somewhere. Everywhere is somewhere. Yeah, but I just want people to know that when they come here, they are somewhere. somewhere. And not nowhere. We're in the middle of nowhere, but in the middle of nowhere is somewhere. I haven't changed my underwear. Man, where are we? Oh, we're somewhere. I actually want to show you something really cool. The guy who built this, he saw my video, uh, the guy that used to live here, a tenant. He saw my video of me showing off this shed and he sent me a picture of what it used to look like. So here's what it looks like now. Let's warp back in time a little bit to what it used to look like. This is it from the same angle. You can see the telephone pole behind it. There's three little trees to the back left of it. This was like a chicken coop and a shed. So what he did first was he knocked down the chicken coop part, the outside run, and then he put some forms in so he could make a concrete footer around it. Poured the concrete there, you can see wires diving down in the left side of it. And then he started framing. So you can see the old shed still to the right, but he is framing up the brand new shed on the left side. Then he sheathed it, and then the old shed to the right, he decided that wasn't good enough and knocked it down. And then he reframed that, and she did it as well. So this is still from the front side. He was actually super pumped when he saw the video that I was gonna turn this into a tiny home. He said, that shop has a special place in my heart. I built it during the COVID lockdown so I wouldn't lose my mind. He said, the perimeter wall foundation I poured myself, the mixer I rented broke, and I mixed like a 100 bags of concrete by hand in a wheelbarrow. He said, that thing is about 80% recycled materials. I spent $3,000 building it, and it was mostly concrete and sheathing. But I thought that was pretty neat uh, that he, did all that himself just during COVID uh, with a bunch of recycled parts, which makes sense. You can tell that he had skill, but he also used a bunch of random things like, you know, insulation that doesn't match. He got what he could for free to build this thing. Also, what is cool is this slab is not the one he poured. He poured the footer around there. This slab was here uh, and it's actually pretty old because I found this written on it. Herb and Carol, August 23rd, 1984. So this is going to look like a brand new build. It's gonna be one of those hipster, tiny home looking things. But what you won't know from looking at it is that this thing is 40 years old. This thing has been something for 40 years. I'll be here if you need me. Thanks for watching. I love you and I'll see you next time.